welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial we will learn to create the azure machine learning workspace with the python sdk v2 let us begin so here i am on the azure portal open the azure machine learning service i have already created this workspace azure ml sdk v2 ws open this one and launch the azure machine learning studio then go to compute here you can see under the compute instances i have already created this compute instance aml compute 01 and state is running now go to notebooks add files create new file i'll give the file name creating and managing workspace file type notebook that is interactive python notebook overwrite if already exists and create file created successfully compute instance aml compute 01 running we will select python 3.1 sdk v2 let us write the sample code print hello and execute great it's working fine to create the workspace first we have to import the libraries i'll make the note importing the libraries we have to import three libraries from azure.ai.ml import ml client from azure.ai.ml.entities and import workspace the workspace class from azure dot identity import default azure credential this class let us understand about these classes first we are importing this class ml client from azure dot ai dot ml this class provides the functions to interact with the azure machine learning workspace programmatically then we are importing this class workspace this class represents the azure machine learning workspace and at the end we are importing this class default azure credential with the help of this class we can authenticate with azure services using the most appropriate method available in the environment now execute this cell great now we have to enter the details of the subscription i'll make a note enter the details of subscription here we have to define two variables first one is the subscription id subscription underscore id and the second variable is resource group resource underscore group let us specify the details subscription id click on the workspace name this is the subscription id copy and paste click again resource group copy and paste so here we are defining these two variables subscription id and resource group execute now we have to get the handle to workspace I'll define an object ml underscore client to define this object we will use this class ml client first argument as default azure credential then the subscription id the variable that we defined and the variable resource group 
execute. So we have successfully created the handle to workspace. This is the part one. Creating the workspace. So first we imported the required classes. Then we defined these two variables subscription ID and resource group. And after that we have created an object of this class ML client. Now we will create the workspace. I'll make a note creating the workspace. Let us define a variable workspace name. We will call this workspace as workspace 10. Now here I'll define one more object as WS. Use the class workspace and here we have to specify the details of the workspace. First we will specify the name, name of the workspace. Specify the variable that we defined workspace name. After that we have to give the description. Let us give the description. Creating the workspace. Using Python kv2. So we specified name and description. Let us specify the tags. We have to specify the tags as dictionary. You can see here DICT purpose demo. One parenthesis is missing. Okay, now it's good. Let us specify the display name. Basic workspace. After that, we have to specify the location. East US. And we will specify HBI workspace. Here we have to specify the Boolean value false. So first we define this variable workspace name workspace 10. After that we are defining this object WS object of this class workspace. Here we specified the workspace name description tags display name location and HBI workspace. Now we have to create the workspace. Let us define one more object. WS basic. Use the ML client object ML client dot workspaces dot the method begin create specify the object WS. We want to see the result. And print WS basic. So here we are creating one more object WS basic ML client dot workspaces begin create and these are the details from the object WS. We want to see the results. And at the end we are printing the same WS basic. Now execute. It will take a bit time to create the workspace. The deployment result workspace was accepted. Open this URL. And the deployment is in progress. Now it will take few minutes to deploy the workspace. So I'll fast forward the process. The workspace is created successfully. Go to resource group. This is the resource group Azure ML SDK V2 RG. Let us find the workspace. Go to home Azure machine learning service and you can see the workspace 10 is created successfully. And here you can see other details. 
like resource group, location, subscription and so on. Let us revise the steps. To create the workspace first we have to import the required classes. Here we imported these three classes ML client, workspace and default Azure credential. After that we define these two variables subscription ID and resource group. Then we are getting the handle to workspace and at the end we are creating the workspace using this class. Here first we defined an object of this class workspace. This is the object ws and using this method begin create we are creating the workspace. And here you can see the details because we have printed the same location east us key vault identity hbi workspace display name the data isolation discovery url the description key vault ml flow tracking uri name and so on so in this tutorial we have created the azure machine learning workspace using the python sdk v2 i'll see you in the next tutorial till then happy learning